Okay, that's enough for today. It goes for you too, Adam. Uh, I know my limits. If you overdo it, you'll undo all your hard work. If I listened to people like you, I'd still be in bed. Good work today, sweetie. Thanks. Hurts, doesn't it? Like you wouldn't believe. I think you're getting off way too easily. Excuse me? You have to learn to push through the pain. We all sat down every time it hurt. This country never would have been built. Well, I doubt the founding fathers broke their legs in four places. <laughs> what happened? Bad pile up in cheerleading practice? <laughs> no, 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 seriously. How'd you end up in here? First got spooked. Ended up under its hooves. Hmm. Guessing that's not a good place to be. Madam. Lana. All right, Lana. We both know that you have one more lap in you in this puppy. Let's see it. How about not? I know struggle is probably not in your vocabulary, but just to let you know, here it's credo. For your information, I haven't walked in a month. Feeling sorry for yourself may work now, but it's not going to get you up a flight of stairs, is it? Are you always this obnoxious? I'm just telling you how it is. No one's ever honest with girls like you. But you have a boyfriend that's always protecting you, right? But he's not here. No one's going to fight this battle for you. You're on your own. I'll see you around. Okay? Yeah, I'm just pushing through the pain. <laughs> See you change your therapy time. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about the company. Would you believe me if I told you I was a nice guy once? With no issues? Nice guys normally have the most issues. That's why I came. I wanted to apologize. Sorry for taking it out on you. I was upset because you're kind of right. I haven't really been pushing myself, and I, I guess it's because I know that when I get back on my feet, my life's going to be different. Don't really know if I'm ready to face it. So you never got around to telling me why you're in here. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Fine cuisine, postmodern decor. <laughs> no, really, what happened? Well, uh... I tried to get into a burning building and a beam collapsed on me. My parents were inside. I thought I could save them. God, I'm so sorry. It happened. Now I have to move on. See? Guess I'm a little afraid of my future, too. There you go. Almost. Okay. Done. Ah! <laughs> it's not Mount Everest, but it is a start. A few days ago, I wouldn't have even thought that was possible. Sometimes you just have to look at possibility straight in the eye. Mrs. Kent, what a surprise. Chloe had a late deadline. She asked if I could give you a ride home. I'm gonna go. Okay. Hello. Hello. Interesting physical therapist.